Welcome to the rocket profile of the Delta II, the prolific launcher of exploration missions including the Spirit and Opportunity Mars rovers. Delta rockets have a four-digit number indicating their configuration. The Delta II you see here is a Delta II 7925. The first digit indicates the type of tank and engine on the first stage. All Delta IIs have an extra extended long tank Thor for their first stage, so they have either a 6 or a 7 as their first digit. If it has a 6, that indicates an RS-27 engine and Castor 4A SRBs as boosters. If it is a 7, the core engine is an RS-27A and the SRBs are Gem 40s. The RS-27A provides 1,054 kN for 4 minutes and 25 seconds with a vacuum specific impulse of 302 seconds. It burns kerosene and oxygen. The second digit indicates the number of boosters, 0, 2, 3, 4, 6, or 9. If there are 9, then 6 are started on launch, and then 3 are started before the ground start boosters run out. The three air start boosters have larger nozzles because they are optimized for lower atmospheric density, and no, the boosters are not supposed to collide with each other when they decouple. The Gem 40s have a maximum thrust of 499 kN and last for 63 seconds. The boosters have a 245 sea level ISP and the vacuum performance is 283 seconds. There is an additional configuration indicated by an H after the normal four digits and this marks a Delta II Heavy using Gem 46 boosters. The third digit indicates what type of second stage the Delta rocket has and for Delta IIs this is always the number 2 which denotes a Delta K stage with the AJ-10-118K engine burning Aerosene 50 and Nitrogen Tetroxide with 43.4 kN of vacuum thrust for 7 minutes and 11 seconds with an ISP of 319 seconds. The final digit is either 0 for no optional third stage, 5 for the Star 48B, or 6 for the Star 37FM. The Star 48B is used far more often than the smaller Star 37. It is a solid booster that provides 66 kN for 87 seconds with an ISP of 286 seconds. Delta II has launched 153 times with 151 successes for an excellent 98.7% success rate, which is why it is used for so many NASA missions including the Dawn Probe, Deep Impact, Kepler Observatory, 2001 Mars Odyssey, Mars Climate Orbiter, Spirit and Opportunity Rovers, Mars Global Surveyor, Mars Pathfinder, Mars Phoenix, Mars Polo Lander, Messenger Mercury Probe, Near Shoemaker Asteroid Probe, Spitzer Space Telescope, Stereo, Solar Observatories, and WMAP. On that note, thank you for watching this rocket profile of the Delta II.